the overall aim for the, for the machines is to decrease the manual handling that is required, increase the speed and precision of which the sorting and, and handling is done with, and reduce the damage to machines, but are increasing the operator's safety. This is the inlet section where the soil laundry is loaded into the inlet conveyors. So basically, the soil laundry is simply loaded onto the conveyor with no sorting going on. This is the next step in the process. Uh, the machine separates the garments into single pieces that can come out of the conveyor. The current rate uh, of separation is 1500 items an hour. The reason we need this separation is in order to handle each item individually, to read its chip, to check its pockets, and then sorting it correctly. After the separation step, we identify each item uh, by its RFID chip. Uh, this gives us a unique identification for each individual garment to be able to sort it according to the customer's criteria. Uh, this machine is our biggest, that has uh, three different types of RFID uh, technologies, the HF, the LF, and the UHF uh, to handle different chips. Here we have our X-ray machine, which takes a, an X-ray image of each garment. Using computer vision and artificial intelligence, the images are then investigated for foreign objects. It could be pens, scissors, uh, other dangerous materials that could be in the garments. We want these to be rejected out of the system underneath, and the rest can be then transported onwards. The X-ray system Classified objects and acceptable objects like buttons and zippers are allowed to go through uh, even though they could be metal parts. The benefit of having an x-ray in a laundry is you'll have all your foreign objects rejected instead of having them carried on into the wash process. This reduces the damage to machinery as well as the garments but also increases the operator safety. The last step in the automatic processing of uh, the soiled garment is the sorting system. It will distribute the items into the bin assigned by the RFID reader. Compared to having manual sorting, this is faster, requires less manual labor, but it's also more precise than humans basically can do it. So the sorting system can distribute either into trolleys as here, but it can also be connected to silos that can be integrated directly into the customer system. So these are 75 kilogram silos. They'll be filled up with garments until it reaches the target weight and then empty it and transport it out to the customer system. The benefit of the silo is that it can be integrated directly to the belt or back system uh, of the laundry, meaning that you don't need any manual handling before after the washing process is over. The machine itself is constructed of different components with various tasks like separating it, identifying it and, and figuring out where it goes, checking for foreign objects. But each of these modules can be picked and placed in whatever is needed to accommodate a particular customer's needs. The modularity of the system enables us to quickly change these things uh, to have the best system for a customer.